Hi, it's Dr. Frederick. Uh, just on a some couple of questions here. A uh, student asks, um, if there is a tire with a grade of 250, uh, meaning a tread wear index of 250 is, the, is considered the population value, and we take a random sample of 24 tires and measure their tread wear, I think that should be tread wear, uh, and get a, a value of 248.8 with a sample standard deviation of 29.9. Now let's say that uh, the population tread wear is normally distributed. Let's construct a 99% confidence interval estimate of the mean tread wear index produced by this manufacturer under this brand name. So our hypothesis is that mu, uh, the population mean of tire tread wear, is 250. We took a sample, it was 248.8. The standard deviation of our sample is 29.9. What we want to get is the standard error of the mean uh, to build a, a confidence interval to see if 250 is in that interval. Well, to do that, we take our standard deviation, we divide by the square root of n, so we get 22.9 divided by the square root of 24 is 4.9. Uh, to get a 99% confidence interval means we're going to multiply this 4.9 by the z-score associated with uh, a confidence interval of 99%. Uh, that looks something like this. You can go to z-calculators on the web, which is what I use all the time. And if we take 99% of the shaded area, that's between a z of 2.58 and, and negative 2.58. So you can go to z-calculator do that. You can look in a z-table. Um, a 99% confidence interval is a, a pretty standard number, 2.58 plus or minus. That's why we're multiplying by 2.58. I get a little bit of different number than what you got to, or reporting as the answer. There may be some rounding here, but essentially 248.8 plus or minus 12.64 gives us 236.16 to 261.44. Your second question had to be had to do with uh, why is it not unusual for a wear index of 263, uh, even though it's outside this confidence interval? Well, because the confidence interval that we build is intended to address the population mean. Uh, if we want to take a single tire and ask whether it's unusual for our sample, for our sample, well, our sample mean was 248.8. Our standard deviation was 22.9. Just it's, it's within one standard deviation of the mean. How did they get 0.62? Well, it's very easy. The, the value was 263. The mean was 248.8. They subtract that to get 14.2. Divide by the sample standard deviation of 22.9, and you get 0.62. So in a sample, you know, with a mean of 248.8, a sample of 248.8, and a standard deviation of 22.9. That is not an unusual tire tread wear at all. Hope that's helpful.